It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. You know, we have a lot of fun with our Tech for Senior newsletter. And in it, Bill James does a feature each week on gadgets. Today, I want to look at a gadget that was in last week, and it may even improve your health. Let's have a look. I'm with Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Well, this is a pretty normal occurrence in the morning. Yes, the Amazon driver has just left a lot of packages at our front door in Comox, British Columbia, which is on Vancouver Island on the west coast of Canada. So I'm excited. And there's one package I'm particularly interested in, and that's this one. Let's have a look at it and see what's in that package. So let me take this trusty box cutter and open this Amazon parcel up and see what's inside. Watch as I pull out this white box and look at this. This is a red item. And as I open it up, you can see it is a Popco popcorn popper. Isn't that interesting? How did I come about to get that? Well, let me explain. For those of you who read our Tech for Senior newsletter will know exactly where I got this idea from. This was Bill James's Tech for Senior Tuesday Gadget of the Week. You too could get this newsletter delivered right to your in basket just by signing up at www.techforsenior.com. And each week, Bill goes through a extensive review of gadgets and picks one that he thinks you'll enjoy. And let's see how he did this week with our popcorn popper. As a physician, I've always wanted to promote good health. And one of the things I hate are those bags of popcorn you put in microwaves. Now, I know people love popcorn. We all eat a lot of popcorn. And I also know they love those microwavable bags because when I go to Costco, they've got aisles of these things, not just sold as a box, but they're sold by the case. So I know people are in love with their little bags of microwavable popcorn. And the reason is because it's easy. I understand it's the end of the day, you're tired, you want to cozy up with your loved one, watch a movie and have some popcorn. It's so easy just to put those bags in the microwave. Well, let's see what actually is in those bags. And I, this is a box of popcorn I bought. It is probably the most common form that you'll see in readily available at Costco. And let's have a look and see what's in this popcorn. Let's look at the front cover of the of the package and you'll see that it says no artificial colors, flavors or preservatives. You'll see made with in non-GMO popcorn. You'll see it's a source of high fiber and it's gluten free. This stuff must be great and it must be good for you. Well, let's have a closer look at this. So let's look at the nutritional facts of this box of natural popcorn. Well, the first thing you'll see in here that there is 66% of trans fats. Now trans fats are made when liquid oils are turned into solid fats like shortening or margarine. These are called partially hydrogenated oils. Because of the health risks from these fats, the United States and the FDA has banned food manufacturers from adding these since 2022. All right, let's continue down the list. And we're gonna come down now. I wanna come down right to the ingredients. And let's look at the first thing that's in here. Well, it says there's 100% whole grain popping popcorn. Well, that's great. But what's the next item on there? Palm oil. Now, palm oil hasn't been used by McDonald's for the last few years or any of the big franchises. In fact, palm oil is bad for you. Palm oil, palm kernel oil, and coconut oil, or so-called tropical oils, got a bad reputation because they're high in saturated fats, which has long been linked to heart disease. Saturated fat boosts bad LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, both of which are responsible for heart disease. So the next thing is buttery flavor. 
okay, what is this all about? What is buttery flavor? That's the, the, the real key to this bag of, of natural popcorn. Well, butter flavor is often created by isolating common compounds like diacetyl, acetyl, propanol, and acetoin. These compounds may be sourced from butter, soybeans, or other oils. Mixing of any of these compounds with water and other ingredients creates a rich, blood buttery flavor. So all these chemicals we're going to put together, we're going to come up with some sort of mixture that tastes like butter. Well, I don't think that's going to be very good for you. That's not going to work. Tocopherinols, that's the last on the list. What the heck is that all about? Well, tocopherinols are like vitamin E. However, in used in large quantities, these can actually cause allergic reactions. In some people, it can even cause bleeding problems and death. Oh boy, this isn't very good. So this is the stuff that we're going to be wanting to use in our popcorn bags of popcorn we're going to put in the microwave. So maybe Bill's on to something here. Maybe we can do something that's healthier, but we've got to make it as simple as a bag of popcorn. So that's how we're going to see how we're going to do this. All right, let's head up to our test kitchen. I've got to make this device as easy to use as a bag of popcorn in the microwave. So we're going to modify a few things. So pay attention carefully. All right, what you see now is the bowl of popcorn. Now this is made of silicone, so you can throw in the dishwasher, you can wash it. So cleaning up should be a breeze with this, okay? And at the bottom of the bowl, you'll see there's two little lines, and that's important because we don't want you just bump, dumping a bunch of popcorn in the bottom of this. There's two lines, and for the demonstration today, we're gonna to be using the bottom line. So you can make a lot more popcorn in this if you fill it to the upper line. And you can see these two lines in the diagram. So in the next video, you're going to see me popping the popcorn. Now I'm going to add a little bit of canola oil to the bottom of this, which is in the recipe. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it, the lid on it, and then we're going to put it in the microwave. Now it does not matter what type of microwave you have. On the demonstration today, I'm going to use the popcorn setting, but if you don't have a popcorn setting, that's okay too. You can use whatever power you want in your microwave because we're gonna do it all by listening, all right? And so what happens is, is we're going to turn the microwave on and it's gonna heat up the popcorn and then you'll hear it start to pop. And of course, you know, if you've done this before with the bag, you'll hear this, oh man, there's a lot of popcorn going off here. And then once it starts to settle down a bit and there's fewer popcorn popping, that's when you take it out. Now in my machine, my microwave, you'll hear the buzzer go. And so it'll be a little while, it'll be a little further down when we finally take it out. You'll see how it all works out. And we're gonna taste it and see how it tastes, okay? Let's watch the video. All right, now we get to taste the popcorn. Remember, that lid is hot, so be careful when you take it off. Well, look at it. It's nice, fluffy popcorn. Let's uh, let's try a few kernels. Ooh, yummy. That was good. Let's see, did they all pop? Let me pour it into a bowl, and let's see if all the popcorn per kernels popped. Well, this is working out pretty good. It looks like they all popped, but you know what's missing? We missed the salt and butter. Now, how can we add salt and butter into this without having to get another pot, melt some butter, and put it on? Remember, we all want to keep this simple. So let's go back to the drawing board. Before we pop it, we're going to add the salt and the butter. Now, you're going to say, well, how much butter do we add? I don't care, just as long as you don't use margarine and you use butter but as much as you want. Depends on your taste. Same with the salt. You don't like salt, don't add it. You like lots of salt, add lots of salt. I use clarified butter because I cook a lot with clarified butter. It doesn't burn. 
hit a YouTube video, just type in clarified butter. It's super easy to make and it can't burn. But you can use cold butter, hard butter, frozen butter. I don't care what type of butter you use. It, I tested them all and it works just fine. Just add some butter and salt and let's repop it and see what happens. Well, to keep this video short, we repopped it and are tasting it and it tastes great. It tastes nice and buttery. It tastes salty. And again, there's no chemicals in it and there's no trans fats. So now we have an item that is simple, easy to use, easy to clean, one step process, just as the bag going into the microwave oven. Oh, did I miss, miss out the most important point? How much does it cost? Well, that's a very good question. And it was on sale on amazon.ca for $11. If you convert that to US dollars, it's the price of a Starbucks coffee. How cheap can that be? Great deal. Well done, Bill. I think you hit the home run this time. Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. You know, if you want to see all Bill's gadgets, you could subscribe to our Tech for Senior newsletter at www.techforsenior.com. It could even be good for your health. Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, hopefully you enjoyed that video, which you appreciate a like and subscribe. And until we see you again, have a great day.